Hi, Michelle from Birdcage and Thread here with a tutorial for a drawstring water bottle cover. You can make this cover to whatever size you need using the method in my previous video and I'll put a link in the description box below to that video. I'm making this cover to suit a 17 ounce or 500 ml swell brand bottle. You can customise this cover to have a loop handle, a shoulder strap or a tab which I have here so that it can be clipped to a belt loop for hands-free carrying. So grab your supplies and let's get sewing. So here's what you need to make the drawstring style water bottle cover. You need outer and lining fabric, some sort of interfacing for the outer. I prefer to use batting but you can use anything you like. Cord, again you can use any sort of cord you like. I prefer nylon as fabric glides over it better. A cord stop or a cord lock. This is a spring loaded stop that allows you to cinch the drawstring easily. You can of course omit it but it does make the bag easier to open and close. Prepare your fabrics by fusing the interfacing and or batting to the fabrics. In my case I have the outer rectangle which has batting fused to the back of it and the outer circle has batting also fused to the back of it. I also have the casing piece here with woven interfacing fused to the back of it. You can of course interface the lining rectangle and the circle piece if you wish. To begin sewing, fold the outer fabric rectangle in half right sides together along the width. Then sew down the long raw edges using a quarter inch seam allowance. Once that seam is sewn, you're going to open out the seam and press it flat. Then you're going to repeat for the lining piece. Next we're going to cut clips in the bottom of the cylinder along this raw edge here. Just make sure if you have directional fabric that you're making the clips on the bottom edge of your design. So cut the clips about every 3 8 of an inch or so and make them no longer than quarter inch deep because you don't, you'll end up with a hole in your project if you make them longer than quarter inch. Next we're going to attach the circle base to this bottom edge here. You can divide your cylinder into quarters and also the circle and then match up the quarters and pin the rest. But I'm just going to want to clip it in place as I go. Then using a quarter inch seam allowance, you're going to sew around the entire circle there. Then you're going to repeat the same with the lining cylinder and the lining circle base. Now you have two cylinders sewn, one for the outer and one for the lining. So place the outer right sides out with the lining wrong sides out. Then you're going to place the lining inside the outer so that the wrong sides of each of the pieces are facing. You're also going to match up this side seam of the outer and the lining. So this side seam here of the outer with the side seam of the lining. Then match up the top raw edges here pin or wonder clip that in place then you're going to baste around the edge to hold those two pieces together. Next we're going to make the casing for the drawstring. So place the long narrow rectangle wrong side up on your ironing board. Fold it in half lengthwise wrong sides together and press. 
open out and press one long edge towards that centre fold and press. Open that out and fold in half right sides together so that the short ends meet. Then using a quarter inch seam allowance, sew along the short ends and then press the seam open. So this is what you should have now. An outer cylinder which has the lining inside with a top stitched together at that top raw edge here. Then you'll also have the casing sewn. You have it sewn at the short ends and that seam pressed open with a center fold and a fold next to it. So this fold here, if you refold that towards the center around the entire casing. Next, turn it so that the right side is facing out and you're going to sew a small rectangle around the seam ensuring that you catch the seam allowance which is this seam allowance here making sure you catch that in your rectangle now you're going to sew from the folded edge down to meet the center crease here across that seam and then back up and this is where the drawstring will come out when you sew it to the bag. So this is what your casing should look like. You have a rectangle sewn around the seam there. I've gone around three times just to give it a little bit extra security. And that's the back. Next you're going to take your seam ripper and take out some stitches along this seam line here between the rectangle only. So you can do one side at a time. Being careful not to cut fabric or unwanted stitches. So that's one side. And then I'll turn it to the other side and take out some stitches in this side seam here. And you can see it goes from one side to the other. Next you're going to make your strap, handle or tab. So take your length of fabric for that, fold it in half, lengthwise, wrong sides together and press. Open back out and then fold each of the long raw edges to that centre crease and press. Then you're going to refold the centre crease and top stitch along each of the long edges, both sides. Next we're going to add the strap or the tab to the cylinder itself. If you're using a shoulder strap, you want to place one side of the shoulder strap on one side and one, the other side of the shoulder strap on the opposite side. If you're using a ha single handle, you're best to place it along the seam line at the back there which is where I'm going to place the tab. So I'm going to fold it in half, then place that along the seam line and baste in place. Next, take the cylinder and turn it so that the lining is facing out. Take the casing and pin or wonder clip the single layer of fabric edge, so this edge along here, and place it right sides together against the lining cylinder. Like that. Now with this seam here, this is where your drawstring is going to come out. So I'm going to put that opposite this side seam on the cylinder.
Then using a scant half inch seam allowance, sew a seam around this raw edge here. Now the casing has been sewn to the lining, we're going to trim down the seam allowance. So I'm trimming it to about a scant quarter inch. Now the seam allowance is trimmed, you're going to fold the casing up, then you're going to fold it down just over that stitch line, along that stitch line there. So just make sure that the, the fold of the casing just covers that line there. Pin or wonder clip that in place. Then you're going to top stitch along the casing. Now the casing's been sewn down to the outer, we're going to thread the cord through the casing. So I'll take the cord end and place some tape around the end. Then I'm going to thread a safety pin through the tape and through the cord. Then using the safety pin, thread that through the casing. The last thing we need to do is thread the cord through the cord lock or the cord stop. So take both ends of the cord, push down on the cord lock and thread the cord through the, the hole there. Then you're going to want to tie a knot. So the cord lock doesn't come off. Then you'll trim the ends of the cord there and in my case I'm going to insert a carabiner into the loop so that the water bottle carrier can be clipped to a belt loop. And that's the tutorial for the drawstring water bottle cover.